Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. When I turned the camera on, I was kind of talking to Jim a little bit and said this is going to be a tough one because there's not a lot to tell you. And then I was thinking, you know, I could tell you about my tooth. A long time ago, not real long time ago, but not, it was a while back when my tooth was bothering me terrible and I had the one tooth pulled because the um, it had a, a cavity in it that was way below the gum line. Well then on the opposite side I had the tooth that was broken for probably a good four years was starting to act up and so they decided they would put a crown on that tooth. Well that tooth has still been a problem. It was, um, it got infected there for a while so they gave me an antibiotic and I took the antibiotic and they were supposed to call me. They never called me. So I was thinking well maybe they're going to wait until I'm done with the antibiotics and then call me. Well they didn't call me. Then I was thinking well maybe they wanted to make sure it was out of my system before they called me. And they still didn't call me. Well today I was thinking I was going to call them but you know when I woke up this morning it didn't hurt so I didn't call but then um, during supper I was telling Jim that I should have gone to the dentist today because now my tooth hurts again and um, it doesn't hurt to hot and cold so I can rinse my mouth with hot and cold it hurts only when I chew on it and if I floss there the gum area hurts more and then it doesn't hurt very much but I can tell there's a spot on the tooth where it hurts so I think I'm thinking this crown is a bad crown and so and the tooth I would have been better off just pulling it it's probably what's going to end up happening having to happen in the end so tomorrow I'm supposed to go to the gym but I will go to the gym most likely still but I'm going to call the dentist and see when they can get me in and have them check this tooth. And if they say that there's, it's all okay, and I'll say, no, it's not okay, and we'll have to probably remove it. Now, I have been chewing on the side that has the tooth missing, and I can chew everything pretty good. And this tooth is even farther back, so um, it should make it even easier to chew on that side. Right now I can't really chew on that side because it hurts too much and so I kind of try to stay away. And I was eating really easy food tonight. We had um, we had a carnivore night. <laughs> I said to um, Jim that you know I really goofed off yesterday. Yesterday I had a lot of um, carbs, a real lot of carbs. And I says, you know, maybe I should do one day where it's zero to very minimal carbs. So he thought, mm, it's okay with him. Anything I say is okay. I feel like Adam and Eve sometimes. <laughs> He's Adam and I'm Eve. And I suggest something and he goes along with it. Is that what it was? I don't know, in the Garden of Eden. Who knows? Maybe it was the other way. It might have been the other way around, too. You never, <laughs> never know. But they always blame it on Eve for um, tempting Adam. But anyways, I decided I would do just meats for a supper. So that's what we did. I, I cooked up, um, they were Angus burgers is what they say they are. No, I don't know if they really are or not, but that's what they say on the box. And turkey burgers and chicken breasts. I did all three. And I said, I can see why the carnivore people eat more than one type of meat at a meal because it does give you variety because for me it would after a while it would be very boring just to keep eating the one kind I probably would eat so much less if I had to do that but it was actually pretty good but it was soft enough where it should not have made my tooth hurt it was not a steak where you had to really chew and even steaks are are easy to chew if they're cooked right but um so I guess tomorrow my thing will be I'll be calling the dentist to see what they will do for that tooth. And so that's the story. And I thank you all for commenting on whether you are being bugged about getting the, the flu pill or flu pill. It should be a pill. No. Flu shot or not. Um, 
so many of you have gotten it maybe once and you got really sick and you just stayed away from it or you know somebody else that got it and they got really sick and you stayed away from it well I have never had the flu shot neither has Jim and we don't plan to get it now my daughter when she went to Spain she was forced to get the flu shot because she was going abroad and that was the one and only time that she has gotten the flu otherwise she never had the flu either so I think that the, they're, they're putting something in that flu shot that even though they say you're not going to get the flu, you get the flu. So we're going to just stay away from that. And then the chicken pox shot, I'm not getting that either. I know others have had the shot. Some have gotten the chicken pox from it. Some have not. Now my brothers, I had two shingles. brothers, or got the shingles, that's right. They get the shingles from the chicken pox shot or the shingle shot, whatever the shot is. That shot that gives you that terrible rash. Um, my brother Anthony and my brother Joe, they had it long before the shot was even developed, I guess, years ago. And they were far too young to be getting shingles, but they got shingles. And um, there are people that have gotten the shingle shot and actually have ended up with the shingles. So. Even though they say that one doesn't have a live virus in it, but I don't know. You wonder, are they, are they practicing on us to see just how it is? That's like the, that um, other shot that they tell the teenagers they have to get oh, that, uh, that oh. um, what is it called? The papilloma or something, yeah. I don't know. Some kind of shot that they tell the teens they better get so that they can avoid cancer. But they don't know what cancer it can avoid. But I, I wonder how that's going to affect these kids in years to come because I don't remember what the shot's called. It was like at the tip of my tongue, but I can't think of it. You're probably shouting it at me. Yeah, I hear you. But, you know, anyways, that's it for today. And I hope you all have a great tomorrow and enjoy your evening or enjoy your day. And I'll talk to you tomorrow. Alrighty, bye-bye.